table that we all sat down. They were face down, so we couldn't see what it was. And I was like, all right, now, flip over your postcard. Like, let's do a little free write about it. And mine said, it, it is what it is. I had this big argument with Mr. Sir. Like, what does this mean? It doesn't mean anything. It is what it is. Well, that's just restate. That's like four is four. I got on this whole. Um, I got on. A, yeah, go figure. I started ranting about something. Oh no, I did. I ended up doing. I, I like complaining. It's just fun because he's my boss. And it's a good time. That's not true at all. <laughs> when you take, take legitimate concerns to your supervisors, it is their job to fix them. No, Alright, movers, protractors, we are picking up with what we did yesterday. So, anyone want to read our intro paragraph today? Because it is fairly important that AJ hit us with a start with triangles and go all the way to triangle. <laughs> Who didn't, like, who's surprised by that? That three legs is more stable than four. That, like, throw you, it threw me off, like, for a long time. Can you think of why? When you had, like, so this is a three-legged stool, right? Like, my drum throne. It is stable. I'm not going anywhere. This table is three, like, why? Okay, can we tell an example? Yeah, sure. Because, okay, so with this, it's There's no square stools because they're yeah. dumb, kind of. There's four in your wheel piece of stone. Whereas this one is this way across. Yeah. Well, that's just because you're so far out on the circle. Yeah, he's absolutely right. This is why triangles are so strong. The three points of contact is actually better than the four. Because the four can get unbalanced. And if only three of them are touching, the fourth one is like, you know, you rock back and forth. Or if you get into a situation like in a car where your front left and back right wheels are on something, your car could actually tip back and forth. Now, I would not advise making three-wheeled cars. But triangles are one of the strongest shapes we have. Yeah. I'm actually going to fantasize it for Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we have to call it triangles. And the reason it makes triangles the strongest shape is because you don't have stars very easily. Yeah. Well, we're going to look at some of that stuff today. So maybe by the end of class, it'll be able to. All right, Andrew, you want to finish off with the rest of that? Yeah. Lesson 8.33. Move from the middle of the technology shape to building shape and building shape and basic information about the force of Thank you very much, sir. So, I want you guys for a moment, label on your paper for 891. Write for a moment, and it doesn't have to be sentences or whatever. How many parts does a triangle have? And do, do you know anything about the relationship of those parts? So how many parts do you think a triangle has? And is there anything we know about the relationship of them? Well, like another class took some stuff out of you. Anybody think they actually put some cards? You gotta get back and tell me the How many parts is trying to No, where is sorry, that's Gabe, but where's Nathan? Yeah, you, know, you guys are always together. Like outside of class, I just immediately when I pull your car and see you because you're always together. That tells us we know. Santi, what do you think, man? How many parts does a triangle have? Triangle three. Three parts? What are those three parts? 
What do we call them? Ooh, so we have three, and we're actually going to call those either edges or sides or legs or things like that. So we have three, I'm actually going to call them legs or sides. A lot of times people talk about legs of a triangle. There's more than that, though. Go on. What, what are your other pieces? Ah, so we have three legs, and we also have three angles. So really, we have six parts. Now, does anyone know anything about how the angles relate to each other or how the sides relate to each other? Kimberly? Okay. So the sides make our angles. As I start to put my posters back up, this is one that will definitely get a place on the wall. These three angles, go ahead and please in your notes, always have to, what some mean, add up, right? They have to add up to 180 total. Just on the tip of your tongue, right? Hmm? Yeah, every single triangle. Well, that's why this says, no matter how hot or cold it is outside, like inside the triangle it's 180 degrees, that's spoofing the joke of like, it's not temperature degrees, right? We're talking about angle measures, but if I take this angle plus that angle plus that angle, it's going to equal 180 no matter what. And there's a really cool reason why. You guys want to see? I bet I blow your brains. So let's make a triangle. And if you want to do this with me, go ahead and you can cut like a really small corner of your paper. I'm going to cut the larger triangle. But I'm going to prove this to you real quick. So I'm going to label my angles. And actually, I'm going to do this up here on the dot camera because it's really hard to do with holding everything up. So I have angles A, angle B, and angle C. I have. Do you agree that this is a triangle? Yeah. Angles A, B, C. Right now, I'm going to do a little geometry abuse. I'm going to put arcs for my angles, and then tear this triangle apart. Anyone else know anything else that is 180 degrees? We talked about different angle measures, acute and obtuse. Go on. A straight line. If I take my angle A and my angle B and my angle C that used to be all the corners of my triangle, I make a straight line. This is your proof of why a triangle always adds up to 180 degrees. No matter what the size of the angles are, if you tear apart the triangle, piece your angles all back together, it's going to make a straight line. And I think that's pretty darn cool. Now the three legs, we'll talk about a special rule with those here in a minute. But let's try this out. Now these are three different triangles. So, each triangle has given you some information, not all of it, but we want to see if you guys can sketch it. Now, working with measurement tools, rulers, and protractors, that's going to be on your final. 
So let's make sure we can all make an edge of 4.5 centimeters using the rule. Then let's make sure we can make an angle using the protractor of 135. If you need some help, please raise a hand. Mr. Smith or I can help you. Set no. So centimeters means hundred. So always think about like, if it's a hundred of something, it's kind of small. So we compare the ruler. Inches made up of the ruler. And you got to connect it, right? You got to make a triangle. So they only told you about one edge and one angle, but we have to make a triangle. So make sure you close it and actually make that triangle. So if I. Is it symmetrical on all sides? I don't know. I, I, I seriously don't know. What they told me is one length of 4.5 and one angle of 135. So if I go to do that, Okay, what did I say yesterday we should always do first? Should I do a side or an angle first? Side. Side first, right? Do one of the legs first, because then you can make your angle off of that leg. So, 4.5, using your small markings. Also, right here, it tells you millimeters, centimeters, so you're able to kind of cheat off of that guy. Four and a half, and a good end point. Now, when I set this on here, I like starting on the left side. So I'm on my left endpoint. What set of numbers do I use? Do I use the inside set or the outside set? What do you mean, Jeff? Anybody else have ruler issues? I got a couple more stashed away. All right, cards. AJ, do I use the inside set of numbers or the lead? AJ went to the back of the center. Jeremy, do I use the inside set here or the outside set? If I am on the left end point, I line it up. I make sure that I can read this view through. So if I use the outside set, here's my 135 right there. Does that seem right that that's 135 degrees? Yeah. No, that would make an acute angle. Because 135, you should immediately think is obtuse. Look for, if you didn't build this, please do this with me. Look for where your side, your edge, whatever you're working with, goes through a zero. My zero when I point that way, when I'm going to the right, my zero is right here. So if I line everything up, I use the inside set of numbers, go all the way around to 135 is over here, right between the 130 and 140. Then I don't know how long this is supposed to be, so I can just flip my protractor around and use the straight edge. I do like a light line or a dotted line or something because I don't know how long that's going to be. I mean, do I? Has anything told me how long? So are all of our triangles going to look the same? No. No. We could connect like that. And this, now wait, hold on. we got to label things, right? This was 4.5 centimeters. This was 135 degrees. Please make sure you have all your labelings. But I could close this a bunch of different ways. I could close this way up here. I could actually make this longer. Close it way out here. So because we don't know anything else, we have multiple triangles possible. Off to the side of this, please write one side or one leg and one angle. And there are multiple options.
One side and one angle gives us multiple options. So now let's try B. I'm going to give you guys a head start. Two angles, 190 degree, 160 degree. Two angles, 190 degree, 160 degree. <coughs> I don't think so. I mean, all it tells me is two angles. Now, I would say, again, to make an angle, we gotta have some lines. So, we gotta make some choices about lines. Do we know how long our legs should be? No, right? So how did you decide what line to make first? Like, who chose a length? Can somebody give me a length they chose? What? Chose 90 degrees first. You did the 90 degrees first? So you had to draw a line first though, right? Did you measure or did you just like draw a line? It started what? How did you just draw a line? Yeah, it we don't know how to draw the line. Sixty degrees. Okay. So I just gotta draw some kind of line. So I don't know. I'm just gonna put this here so I can make a straight line because I can't otherwise. And I draw a line. I don't know how long it is, but they didn't tell me how long it is. What else can I call ninety degrees? Yeah, but what kind of Katie? A right angle. Fortunately, graph paper is really nice for me. It's already got right angle shown because these boxes make right angles. So without even using the protractor, we can make that a 90 degree angle, which we don't have to write 90 degrees if we draw a little box in there. Everybody with me? How long should this line be? Ah, it doesn't matter. We don't know. But... We do need 60 degrees. So now, if I bring my protractor in, make sure that you can read the view through. If I, now, is 60 degrees acute or obtuse? Acute, right? So I know it's going to be small. It's going to be under 90. So I'm looking for 60 degrees that points that way. Well, here's my 60. Ooh, I think I kind of got myself in trouble here, guys. If I go to connect my 60 degrees with this endpoint, I can't, like, I'm going to be up in my other drawing if I connect these. Do you have an idea? Yeah, I think you make the angle at the, like, the top instead of, like, the head. No, I don't know. So, I think what you're asking is could I put the angle here instead yeah, of over yeah. there? Yeah. So, forget that I did that. I'll erase that if I end up solving this another way. If I use this line. I'm pointing right, so I use the inside number set. Here's my 60. Then a straight line connecting those. Shoot. Now I still didn't actually hit my line that I wanted to, but is this line stuck at being this length? No. So if I get rid of this guy, do, 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 do. You gotta sing songs when you're erasing, it makes it so much more fun. Then I can extend this edge out, make everything meet up. I gotta label this as 60 degrees. We also actually know what this is. They didn't tell us, but we know what it is. How do we know what it is, Kimberly? So we can think about 90 plus 60 plus something equals 180. What do these add up to? 180 
150. What else do we need to add to make 180? 30. This angle is 30 degrees. By the way, I'll go ahead and warn you guys. I'm collecting last night's homework on or not last night. I'm collecting Monday's homework probably tomorrow. So make sure you have Monday's homework tomorrow. And then I might collect another one. So we'll see you later. Yeah. We could have just made this leg smaller, and then my 60 degree would be able to meet up. Now the other thing, since I don't know any of these lengths, that would also be a 30, 60, 90. If I make that my line, this would also be a 30, 60, 90. This would also be a 30, 60, 90. This would also be a 30, 60, 90. So when we were given two angles, do we get one triangle or multiple triangles possible? Multiple, right? I'm going to just write multiple triangles that way. Makes life easy. All right, let's try C. Two side lengths, 4.5 and 7. Centimeters, of course. Try that one out. 4.5 and 7. This is personal preference, but I like to start with the longer side. Just makes life easier. So I started by drawing my seven centimeters. Do I know anything about angles here? Do I know anything about the third side? No. Like even me being a math teacher, I don't know anything about the angles here or anything about the third side. So my 4.5, well this is interesting. So I've lined up 4.5 to be my end point here. So could I make this triangle? If this is 4.5, would that work? Did I? Yeah, I did both the things I wanted, 7 and 4.5. Could I make this triangle? And I still follow the rules. Would that be allowed? Yeah. Could I make, I think you guys might see where I'm going at this point. Now this starts to get awkward and kind of on top of itself, so I'm going to come down here. This triangle, still, if this is 4.5, can I make that? Which, funny enough, lines up with that other line. So when we're given two sides, one option or multiple options? Multiple options. Shoot, this is tough then. So we tried one side, one angle had multiple options. Two angles had multiple options. Two sides had multiple options. Anybody have an idea of what we could try that would only give us one option? Stella? Three angles. Now what about up here if I had given you 30, 60, and 90? Could I still make my triangle bigger or smaller? Oh, yeah. That's a three angle. So, hold up. So, if we want to make a note, we could just say, okay, three angles still gives us multiple triangles. As we could see from up here, so you could jot down on your notes that three angles will still give us multiple triangles. So now, you, you then said three angles and three sides. Well, that's everything. But could we do it without all six pieces? Like, what's the minimum information we could give somebody? Do I need to give three angles? Were we given three angles up here? But we figured out the third, right? 
So give two angles and one side. Let's try that. So, this we were going to use technology. Um, well, not that we were going to use technology. Eighth grade's using Chromebooks, so I plan to not use technology. And I'm trying to get through some content quickly. Um, try this if you want, otherwise, you can just watch what I'm doing up here. If we, and ignore a resource page because I wanted you guys working with Google today. If we want to make a triangle with 5 centimeters, 4.5, and 1.5, or 5, 4.5, and 7, or 4.5, 7, and 1.5, do you think you can do that? Let's try it out. 5, 4.5, and 1.5, right? I said do your biggest side first is normally the best idea. So I'm going to grab another sheet of graph paper. If you want to play along with me, make a five centimeter side. Then we need a one point five and a four point five. Okay. I'm just going to try, I'm going to put my 1.5 here, and then I'm going to hope and pray and crap. That's not 4.5. Well, let's try again, I guess. If I do 1.5 and I point it this way. And is this 4.5? Ooh, ooh, I got it. I got lucky. So can I make this? Can I make this triangle? I know it's a dumb question, but was I able to make a triangle? Yeah. yeah. Now, the first one didn't quite work because I had my leg pointed straight up. But when I brought my leg in a little bit closer to the other side, it allowed this to be 4.5 and this to be 1.5. Let's move on to part two and try the seven centimeter and then five and four point five. Now, should I put five pointing straight up like I had tried last time? No, because then this distance is really long, right? So if I'm going to do my five, I need to point it in this way. But still, how do I know that this distance will be 4.5? What if I do this? Bring in a second ruler, right? 4.5 in would be at 25.5. So if I line this up, there's my 4.5 leg. And I could rotate it. I need my five leg. I need to move them until they line up. Will these be able to line up? Yeah, like eventually I can find that spot, right? So although it's difficult, this would work. Let's try C. That's difficult, so I'm not really going to finish it. I would cheat and use two different rulers. Try C. Make your 7 centimeter. I need everyone trying this with me just to, because this is the part that really matters. So make a 7 centimeter line. I'm going to continue to use this one. Make my end points a bit bolder. My other two sides need to be 1.5 and 4.5. So I'm going to do my 4.5 first. I'm going to point it this way a little bit. And then, again, let's use my double ruler trick. 1.5. Oh, that's broken. Um, um, 
stretch. Maybe if I bring this down, because I need to connect my 1.5 and my 4.5, right? What's going on here, guy? Can I get those to connect? No. Oh. Crap, they gave me a triangle that can't be made. Why? Sit, don't they? Okay, Jeremy, take that a step further. Ooh, yeah, not all, like, just because you say make it doesn't mean it can be made. Kimberly? Um, um, like, because it's too, um, like, it's too big. Like, mm -hmm. Ah, so we need to define a triangle rule. And you could, to help you remember it, draw this triangle that can't connect. So this is 4.5 and the 1.5 and no matter how much I hope and try and think, these cannot connect. Makes me think of stick sticky. Do you remember Stick Sticky, Colin? Or I do not. You're probably that was after your time, I'm guessing. It was a popsicle stick that was on Nickelodeon. And you used to like say, oh no! And bad things happen. So our triangle leg rule. Is that Okay, so you guys can decide to write however much you want, but when we talk in math, a lot of times we use the word given. So given sides A, B, and C. A plus B has to be bigger than C. B plus C has to be bigger than A. And A plus C has to be bigger than B. What that really means is any two legs must sum to more than the third. Given sides ABC any two sides have to be bigger than the third. So it's easier to think about than it really is to write with the inequalities. If I look at the dimensions given from part I, I'm gonna move this up to the TV. Let's look at the small ones, right? Because that'll make life easy. Is 1.5 and 4.5 bigger than five? is, grab your small sides, 4.5 and 5, bigger than 7? Yeah. Is, 1.5 plus 4.5 bigger than 7? No. Rule doesn't work, don't even try. It can't be made. Any questions on that? So always check if you're given three lengths, does this work? Because otherwise you're just wasting your time. You go to try to build that and it can't be made. So this, I'm going to breeze through this kind of quickly because we already talked about this. If you've been given three angles, what did we say can happen? Mm, if I bring this back over, look at the TV. What was able to happen when we knew all three angles? 
multiple times, right, different sizes. So our rule, really, when we are given three angles, it would be beneficial to write this down. With three angles, we can, now I'm going to give you a mathy word here, we can dilate, actually I think it's dilate, Now that doesn't mean the angles change. The angles can stay the same and it can get bigger or it can shrink down and the angles will also be the same. Does that make sense to us? That triangle up there, the 30, 60, 90 that I had in the middle of my tape, that's your proof right there. All of those triangles are 30, 60, 90, 30, 60, 90, 30, 60, 90, because they're different sizes. Oh, the one on the bottom there? No, no, on, on the question. 135, 45, and 60. Ah, so let's check this third one. Good catch, Mr. Schmidt. What did we say about triangle angles? 180 degrees. So, Katie, what do you think about this one? So what do these add up to? Uh, 180. These are, wait. <laughs> but 60 just doesn't get to join the party? No. Oh, no. well, that would just be, that would be an off triangle. So what do you mean off triangle? I mean it won't be possible. So this is also not a triangle. So just like with our edge rule, if two of them don't add up to be bigger, two of them aren't bigger. If you see, like Mr. Smith recognized, like, wait a minute, that's that's a lot of angle measure, right? 135 plus 45 plus another 60. Yeah, that doesn't work. That's too much. Does that make sense? You gotta add up to 180. And if you want to do the paper trick on your own and like tape that into your in your notes, like that would be sweet. Um, I'm trying to make sure you guys have everything to be successful with your homework. And you got like three minutes left. Um, yeah, let's talk about this. What do these tick marks mean? The single tick mark, double tick mark, triple tick mark? Guessing what about the sides? What do you mean which side it is? So, I'm losing some of you guys and this is important. These tick marks, in mathematics, you might want to make a note of this in your notes, mean congruence. So tick marks like on shapes. Yep. So it means absolutely equal. Like it's even more important than equal. So AC is congruent to PR, CB is congruent to PQ, AB is congruent to RQ. What does that mean? All three sides are exactly the same for the one triangle compared to the other triangle. Um, it's the same triangle. Ah, it's the same triangle. So, yeah, it, so it's the same triangle, right? It's like you compared to you, right? Like you're still you. So we can say triangle, please write this so you get the symbol in your notes. Triangle ABC, now congruent is an equal sign. We'll take a wave above it. We call it a squiggly, which is why we used to call it, but wave is kind of quicker to say. Here's the dangerous part though. Order matters. And guys, that my accelerated seven kids are struggling with this. I keep marking questions wrong because they're not in the right order. If we have the order A to B to C, 
We have to follow the same order with the other triangle. So what matches A to B to C going three tick marks to two tick marks? Gage? R, Q, P going across the three tick marks, then across the two tick marks. So R, Q, P is our order. If you put ABC congruent to PQR, that's wrong. Order is particular here. Which that means angle A is exactly the same as angle R. Angle B is exactly the same as angle Q. Angle C, exactly the same as angle P. They're giving you a lot of information when you write a congruent statement. So big takeaways from today. All triangle angles sum to what? 180. And sides, who can tell me what must happen? It'd be hard if we all say it at the same time. Who can tell me what must happen with sides? What did we say the rule is, Jesse? Yeah, any two got to be bigger than the other one. So just remember, any two got to be bigger than the other one. Please do your homework. I will be randomly collecting tomorrow slash Friday. A um, couple of homeworks from this week. So please get stuff taken care of. And I will see you guys, I don't know, Lego and Yana or something. Either later or tomorrow. Ah, in live. I don't know how to say cafeteria anymore. I think it's pretty close to cafeteria anymore.